Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog series. My name is Bethany Vinton. If you don't know me, I cover all things Disney food and drink. However, this vlog series, nothing to do with Disney. We are about to set sail on a five night Virgin Voyages cruise to Mexico and their private beach. I'm so excited. I've never been on Virgin before. I've only done a Disney cruise, so I'm excited to be on a different cru cruise line. But I made it to Miami. We set sail tomorrow, and I figured I'll take you guys around. <laughs> but I'm staying at the Versace Mansion, which if you guys don't know, it is a Miami, South Beach, Miami staple. And I figured, let's take a room tour before I go ruin the bed, because I'm about to lay down, because this looks amazing. For starters, can we just, you walk in, double doors, he opened the double doors for me when we came up the stairs. There's a nice little closet that my luggage has started to go in. There are robes in here too, so I will be getting that on later. Is it as nice as the Disney robes? No, but I'm still here for it. Uh, I'm assuming this is another closet. Lovely, a little mini fridge in there and a safe. I think I should actually just have to open this up. Mini fridge, safe, lots of storage though. This is like the cherub room, I'm pretty sure. A very out of place jumbo TV, just because of how the rest of this room looks. Everything's included that's in the room. So Fiji waters, there's, oh, <laughs> Fiji waters, there's a coffee machine. Just like the attention to detail is impressive. I'll do a whole shot of that. Also, how cute is this? This is your key to the room. And this is what I apparently you show people in order to get upstairs. So let's go to her. Okay, this must mean too. I don't know why I'm whispering, no one can hear me. There has to be some, some type of music system that's in here. Just my lounging day bed, you know, for all my lounging needs. The most ridiculous bed I've seen in my entire life. I don't functionally comprehend what's happening. Just another giant day bed too. Uh, this is a door, but it leads to an alleyway because we are in South Beach, Miami, but like the attention to detail on this when it was built, phenomenal. But let's go to the piece de resistance because it's the bathroom. Uh, for starters, I don't, I like, I, okay, just my shower. Cash, that is, oh, it has two shower heads. There's one there and one there. Okay, that's impressive. Um, but this is just simply gorgeous. I won't even lie, the bathroom is stunning. And we have both a bidet and a toilet, because you know, options. But overall, I think this is just a back alleyway as well, so I'm not gonna go back there. But I'll bring you guys around the actual grounds, but I had to do a nice little quick room tour and I <laughs> have no words. I will be right there tonight, living my best life, and I'm here for it. Hello and welcome. Come get ready with me. Um, did I film anything else last night? No, I did not. Uh, so I slacked. Uh, we had a nice, lovely dinner here at the Versace Mansion. Um, it was really good. Can't complain at all. We just spent some time by the pool and drank a lot of champagne. Um, so I'm gonna get ready today because today is embarkation day on Virgin Voyages. Uh, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna bring you guys on a little bit of a tour. We're gonna grab breakfast and then we're gonna head to the port. Uh, we're leaving out of the port of Miami on a five night Virgin Voyages cruise that takes us to Costa Maya, Mexico and their private beach, Bimini, Bimini, Bimini Beach? Bimini Beach. Um, in the Bahamas, it should be fun. I think we have three at sea days. Um, so, I am excited. Let's do it. Uh, let's go on a cruise. Okay, we made it to check in. 
Um, and my app pulled up. They say keep the app up at all times. I won't say that was flawless. Um, just needed it better. That was rough and annoying and not necessary. But there's a lot of check-in stations, so we'll see. We'll see what's happening. But we're gonna go check in. Um, their tip is keep your app up. I have my passport. Let's go check in. Let's see what's happening. But overall, my check-in experience. It's been quick for me because I prepped and I feel like I need to have a video on how I prepped. Um, I had my COVID test on, had my vaccination on my phone, had my check-in, so. Okay, I don't know where I ended that, but woof, we breezed through that. Check-in was, check-in, thank you. Uh, check-in was easy. They gave me my little wristband that is essentially my magic band. Disney people know uh, and we're headed at embarkation <laughs> that point on was super easy I will say they are a little chaotic that was not the smoothest thing but uh, equivalent of my magic band so checked in sounds good let's go get on the ship um, a lot of shuffling through places, but I'm assuming when I walk up here, I'm simply scanning my man. Ahoy! Thank you. Apparently that was it. We are officially on vacation. You are welcome. I love it. Yes, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. We made it. We're gonna head up. Okay, one thing about Virgin is your room is ready when you board, which I'm down for. Life is the bubbles. Okay, this is really cute though. <laughs> but I'm sweating and let's go find our room. We are in room. I don't know. We'll find out. Hello. 12326. 326. That way? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Very modern. I'm loving this. Let us go find a room. We're in 12326. I will say my conclusion about this so far is it very much it gives me adult vibes compared to other things. Um, 322. Here we are. We've arrived. 326. Just like a magic band. Scan it. <gasps> Do I show you the room or me? I don't know. <gasps> Shut up, the curtains are opening when I walk in. <laughs> okay, we're gonna look at the bathroom a second because priorities. Also, like the music turns on when you walk in. That's pretty magical. Disney. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's take an official tour. Okay, so to regroup when I walked in, drop my bags, and the curtains open. Let's do an actual tour. This is fun. This right here. Um, you can either tell them do not disturb or my room needs to be cleaned. Love it. Your light switches are here. Your bathroom light switches are here. I am in an extra large terrace. So again, places to hang things. Me on a Virgin Cruise. <laughs> The air, it's as cool as it goes. It's definitely still hot in here. Okay, so I think this is what sets the extra large terrace apart besides the regular terrace is the bathroom. So this bathroom's pretty legit. There is a sink. The shower and the toilet are divided as they are in Disney, except for you have like one communal sink instead of two sinks, so wrong side. 
the shower with all the things you need on the wall, there is also hanging your clothes, which is always good. A rain shower though, like it. I don't know if you actually saw that. A rain shower and all of that. And then you have your toilet, which is over here. Standard toilet, we're here for this. I did have to use the restroom and it sounds like an airplane toilet flushing. And then you have your sink area, which is great. A little trash bin, a bunch of space but pretty nice let's oh i didn't mean to flip it but pretty nice a full bathroom so you can't be mad about that so let's continue this room tour to the actual room we walk in here's our room it is significantly smaller than our room in disney like they don't even compare in size we were in the family veranda suite, I believe, on the Fantasy, and it's still spacious in here, but it's tiny compared to what it is. This is your closet, so you have your life jackets up there, some towels. Those are the pool towels, even though I think there's one pool on the ship, and it's tiny, so sure. Safe. A lot of drawers. I do like this. Drawers to put things in. This is your closet. I will say, this is how you close your closet. I don't know if I love that, but we'll go with it. <laughs> uh, here is an overview of the bedroom. We have our bed. This can be split in multiple ways. So if you're cruising with someone that you don't want to sleep in a bed with, this turns into two twin beds and they can do it like actually on an L like that, where which is why the headboard is extended. So you don't have to sleep in the same bed as somebody, but we have a place. I put my laptop there. I spilled an entire bottle of Fiji water right there. <laughs> um, there's just a tray with all of the constellations. Not sure what the deal with is that, but also, are, this is the only light switch for this? Maybe. Hi, Bethany. See the tablet on the desk? It controls your TV. We have water, which is all included. A bottle, like maybe the coolest bottle opener ever. It's $25 though. You can buy it. Very nice. And a mini fridge. So that's cute. And places to store things. Um, there is a regular remote for the TV, so it's asking us to play the safety video, so we will play the safety video before we do anything, but first, let's go to the balcony, duck through the curtains, and head out to the balcony. So we are in Miami. We have boarded in Miami. This video is going to be long. Um, we are staring into Miami right now because we are on whatever side of the ship. They appear to be doing a lifeboat test, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we are here. One thing about Virgin that is different. Oh, I am like at the front front of the ship because here's the bridge. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that close to the front of the ship. Um, one thing that's different is this. I This is what I was most excited about. <laughs> it is a full-fledged hammock. Every stateroom that has a veranda has a hammock. I will be chilling here a lot. Amazing. But yeah, that is your, your ship tour. Your tour of my... It is an extra-long terrace sea view something um i don't even know what time we set sail i'm gonna have to go look but so far this is fun i'm gonna go find the rest of the crew they seem to be partying on the miami lady and maybe i'll go get myself a cocktail maybe some food too um but let's do it let's go on a virgin voyage cruise all right just got off the balcony i'm intrigued so play the safety video
I feel like Disney could have done something like this. I love. Oh. Okay. I just met up with like the entire touring hands cruise habit group. Group. We were drinking some champagne on deck. I'll introduce everybody at a later point, but um. We have dinner at seven, but it's six, and I have a dinner that I schedule for myself. And this is Extra Virgin, which is their Italian restaurant. You scan the QR code and it gives you the menu. Um, I only have an hour, so I'm not gonna order a crazy amount of food, um, but I'm gonna order enough. And then I'm headed to the Mexican place with everybody else, and I heard tequila shots on the menu, so bless me but so far I've been very impressed by Virgin everybody is incredibly nice and hospitable I've just been super impressed with this so far so let's do it we have dinner for the next 50 minutes before we go and join all my comrades over at the Mexican place which I don't know what it's called off the top of my head but it's just been nice it's nice to hang with creative types that necessarily aren't in your like circle like my disney circle these are cruise people so we don't really overlap a lot but it's nice to hang out with creative people um so i'm gonna grab dinner by myself they have not made me feel weird about dining alone which i appreciate i have made some dining reservations with some other people for the rest of the week so i'm excited about that so far very impressed with virgin very different red vibe from Disney and I will say my opinion on it's like going on a Disney cruise is like going to Disney World and going on a Virgin cruise is like hanging out in Miami like yeah you're both traveling to a destination but they're very different so so far though I'm loving it so let's grab dinner one of two <laughs> we have started it just got awkwardly quiet in here. We've started with a bread service. This is a rosemary focaccia, which looks phenomenal. And then a little uh, olive oil and balsamic, which I'm, this is the recipe for success in my own life. This is all I need. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello. How are you tonight? Good. Don't mind me. Okay, appetizer has arrived. This is the Wagyu beef carspaccio. It is chanterelles, so our mushroom is safe. We can see uh, sunchokes, which I don't know what a sunchoke is, and truffle dressing. However, these look like Brussels sprouts to me, but this looks amazing. Um, I did order myself an Aperol spritz, and I think I showed the bread, but who literally knows? But this looks phenomenal, so let's try it. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. Sun chips or whatever crispy little chips are on here. But cheers. That's good. That's very good. I like everything that's on here, like all the different textures. I'm very much here for this. The main courses have arrived. First off, I want to start by saying before I actually talk about the food. The staff here has been so accommodating. Uh, one, I have my dinner reservation in 20 minutes somewhere else with a bunch of people, but they made me smaller portions of the pasta so I could try it all, because I asked, what do you recommend? I love to ask servers that. Um, but they were, they were so accommodating, and they're so kind, and I just can't get over it, because that's why I love Disney Cruise Line so much, is because the staff is amazing. But holy moly, the staff here, also amazing. So let me show you what I Got. I got uh, a meat dish, which is fish, and then I got two pastas, but my pasta portions are significantly smaller, so I could try more, um, which I think is amazing, and something that more cruise lines need to do. I don't know if they do it, but I'm just here for this, so let me show you what I ordered. Okay, we're, we are starting here. This is the grilled Mediterranean sea bass. This has lemon, roasted fennel, and Yukon gold potatoes. One, this looks phenomenal. We'll give it a little squeeze of lemon. Like the grill marks everything perfection and then I got two pastas as recommended by my server starting over here this is the potato gnocchi head of the wood mushrooms spinach and a truffle butter sauce which is giving me the pasta per vibe and then this one which 
I love angolotti. This is oxtail angolotti. This is tangerine conserva, conserva, conserva. I don't even know what that means. And beef tenon crisps. I don't know, but I'm here for it. So let, let's give this a go. I'm gonna try it on camera because that has been what I've been requested to do. Let's start with the sea bass. That's so good. The skin is like perfectly crisp. It's terrible. It is so good. I mean, I've only tried the sea bass so far, and it's phenomenal. I will double check for the for the rest. Okay. Perfect. I want to make sure that you love it. I love it though. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's try the rest. I have to say, I'm just so impressed by so much. Actually, don't take my sea bass away. I put it a little far over. Let's try the gnocchi. They came to my table. They gave me fresh parmesan, fresh cracked pepper. It's good. It's definitely a softer gnocchi, but again, the flavor is phenomenal. Texture-wise, not my favorite. It's a little too soft, but let's try the oxtail and body. Let's try it. I love it. It's rich without being heavy, if that makes sense. But this is phenomenal. I will eat all of this without a doubt, but I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy this. This is phenomenal so far. Very impressed. Okay, so my dessert has come. Don't mind this. This is a sorbet. And then my server surprised me and brought me a shot of limoncello because I'm headed upstairs to take shots of tequila. And he said, you need to start it off right. And he started me with a shot of limoncello, which I agree. But this sorbet is absolutely phenomenal. I know this is only my first meal, but I am impressed. Did I record anything else on day one? No, but there's tons more over on my Instagram and be sure to subscribe for more Virgin Voyages content.